hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're just tuning in you're welcome this is your first time here i am more than blessed to have you in my channel my name is onosho and i film about isako land you know my tribe my dialect you know lifestyle and every good stuff in between and if this is your first time here kindly hit on the red button that shows subscribe and tap on the bell to get more content as we post them out there okay so today's video guys we want to talk about the importance of you teaching your child your dialect okay many times um, I've seen children I had worked with children for years almost a decade guys and I've seen all sorts all kinds you know I sometimes work with children in schools and I see how parents lay emphasis on the diction back in Nigeria right um, or oh, the child has to speak is the tonation for me is not articulating well you know how are you today you know things like that they don't say that and that's all they're concerned about and you just shove your dialect aside mm. at the end of the day you're from somewhere right and it is important for us to push that place you're from now see it in this perspective that you have kids right and you will not be here forever look at the way you were raised there might be issues the way you were raised that you're trying to correct now in the life of your children okay you just want to do better isn't it now if you do not teach these children your tribe your dialect your language okay how would they pass it on that's a question for you to answer if you think it's not important i feel we're overrating this english thing even as it's good for us to teach teach english teach our children how to speak basics and you know converse with english i think you should push the dialect part of you into your children as well so you your wife make it you know a habit you know i was watching is it a youtube no if an instagram video of yvonne jegede shout out to her if she ever gets to see this i am so 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 a huge fan and she went out to eat with Xavier and she was telling the baby to go meet someone using her tribe like Lema, okay, Omo Titi, you know, Omo Yoyo. She was trying to, you know, praise those are where you praise children in Isako land, right? And I felt so good. Like I had goosebumps all over me, you know, please promote Isako. If you're from Isako here and you're seeing this, don't let it slip by okay if you need to ask me questions please do as much as i know i am going to pop it out there okay you can't overemphasize it a couple of days ago i am actually filming from australia brisbane australia right now i am from nigeria i'm from isaka right my husband and i went somewhere we went to get our crn and photo id done and on entering the place there was this black cute girl we saw by the door and i'm like whoa look at a beautiful black girl and that was it okay i'm the kind of uh, let me watch a bit kind of person but he is the kind of person that if you give him the vibe of oh hi he wants to you know push it further so we sat together god helping us in a couch and he was like hello hi and she was like oh hey hi you know this kind of I'm a friendly kind of vibe and I was like where are you from and the lady said she's actually British but the dad is Steve in Benue state right and the mom is a Ghanaian but she's British and we're asking her okay can you speak the Steve language and it's like mm, no 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 and that was it what happens guys when you have visitors in the house and you want to pass and information across to your child what do you say that they don't know that's I think that's the advantage every dialect has so make it a habit moms make it something that you feel is important even if it's a little bit as thank you a little bit as come a little bit as sit down take your food eat it are you okay okay are they where go and lie down things like that it helps it helps you might just be in a fix tomorrow we're not praying for that to happen yet and this language thing will just help you out it will bail you out so it's very important that we teach our children to understand their roots most importantly 
I have children I taught back in Nigeria that don't know where they are from. Mm -hmm. Like, they just say, okay, I'm from Kwara State. And that's it. Do we have these conversations? Do we actually have time? Create time and tell them, oh, I'm from here, I'm from there. Most of us parents is when teachers give your children maybe a project and say, okay, write about your culture, write about your food, the food you eat in your place and all of that. That's when you even try to tell them, oh, you know what, Osilama, you're from this place, you're from that place. Let's make it a habit, you know. Maybe once a week, twice a week, as God will help you. And the time you have, create time for it. And keep them, you know, in check. Make them make them understand. I'm married to Yoruba man. And God willing, if I have kids tomorrow, it's it's a multi-language, lingua kind of family. So I'll do my best as Isako and the father does his best using Yoruba. The essence is you knowing your roots. It's of an advantage to you. Okay, so this is for parents out there. And this is also for people who grew, you know, outside the land, maybe your diaspora, shout out to you. And you just feel like you want to converse with grandma back home and you need to pop these things, you know. It gives a sense of belonging. It gives so much joy for you to be able to say, ah, ah, mama mo, ah, ogbo ele. Mama mo is like your greeting, right? Ogbo ele is how has today been okay if the woman or the grandma has been battling with one health challenge or the other or just recovering you ask her in like how how's your body how you feeling now leg where did you sleep well so these are common things i think we should be popping up even in our homes you wake up and your child is there the child knows oh from on show vibes night there is good morning so let me add some respect on it. Night be a sir. Night be a ma. Night be a mommy. Night be a daddy. That's good morning, daddy. Good morning, mommy, right? And you go ahead as a mom and you ask your child, Uma leg, where did you sleep well? Okay? And the child be like, hey, yeah, hey, yeah. Ye. No. So A hey, is saying yes. A hey, yeah, is saying no. Okay? So when you ask Uma leg where you get an A, hey, it means that child is good, right? And if you get an A, it means something is wrong somewhere. So come, A me, A me leg where, why didn't you sleep well? Or A me, what happened? And then the child starts saying one or two things. It's not going to just happen like, boom. <laughs> These things don't happen that way, right? But consistency does the job. It does it to anything you put your hands on. Consistently, you say it today. Tomorrow, you say children are trained, right? Next, tomorrow, you pop it. You keep popping, popping, and before you know it, you have a wholesome vocabulary, a wholesome words you can actually, you know, walk around in your home. So, if you're calling grandma, nine be a mama, uh huh, uma leg, where a you want to ask, what did you eat? A mule, hmm, okay, so or you're calling somebody away it might not be grandma maybe a relative back home and you're like ah nine yeah. most times in this circle they call women by their first child i don't know if it happens in another tribe if the woman's first child's name is osilama oh osilama that's mama osilama yeah let's break it down mother of osilama but mama works well right aha so oh osilama nine yeah. mother of osilama good morning Okay, Uma leg, where did you sleep well? Paraventure, he or she has been ill. Enigbe, how's your body? You want to ask, have you eaten? Emule, and the person tells you, Ili ephemera, rice is ephemera in Isako. Ephemera, Ili ephemera, okay? And you want to ask after her children, Ivia, Ivia means children. And she tells you, a lay yo, okay, they are fine, they are doing well. And you're asking, Oma Puno Rekbo, okay, is everything cool? And she's saying, hey, mark me one again now, we thank God. Now, for Delta, they do organe, right? For Isako, they do organa, okay, organa or OC, <laughs> Lamusi, things like that, names like that. So, Oma Puno Rekbo, she responds, Ma, we thank God. 
So you see, little by little, you have pulled up a conversation. You can't even end the call at that. Huh? You want us to go over it again? Okay, let's do that. Night be a Whatever the person's name is. Night be a mommy. Night be a uo si lama. Night be a uo si hena. Night be a uwa guacola. Night be a uwa le nogena. Night be a whatever the name is. You greet the person and you're asking, uma le where? That means, did you sleep well? Uma le where? And Paraventure the person is ill or you heard the person wasn't so you know doing good in a way Okay, how is your body now and the person is telling you a soul? Mm? Or mark way more my body is good or we thank God for the state of my health right now And you want to move it a step further a mule What did you eat a mule? What did you eat the person might tell you sort of things we eat in this circle, beans is called ephie, rice is called ephemera, bread is called upeko. Uh -huh. Please, you should clap for me in the comment section. No? <laughs> okay, so let us know in the comment section names of foods in this circle. I want this thing to be bubbling. Like, if, I, if you see this video, let me know, react, your favorite emoji, do something to let us know that, okay, yes, I'm vibing with you too. Okay, so beans is ephie. Rice is um, ephemera, okay, and bread is ubiko, okay. Ah, uh, if it is swallow, she might tell you, Oh, me, we've done. If you've not seen our soup video, please check, 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 check my channel. You're gonna see different kind of soups and what they are called. Oh, me, war, get balili. Oh, me, war, good day me. Pounded yam is called good day me. Oh, me, sagwe, good day me. Okay, see the video, you understand what soups are called. So, you've asked Emule, the person have given you a lot of responses depending on what exactly he or she ate, right? And you want to pop it or take it further. If you are, any of you are, are your children? Children are doing great. A yo, Oma Puno Rekbo, I hope everything is cool with you. A Mark Bebo, and yes, we thank God. So in this video, you've learned how to say yes, a. Eh? You've learned how to say no, a. Eh, eh? You've learned how to say good morning. You've learned how to say um, uma legwe. Hope you slept well. You've learned how to say enegbe. How are you feeling? You've learned how to say emule. What did you eat? You've learned how to ask of the children. Ivia. You've learned how to ask. I hope everything is cool. Oma puno rekbo. Oma puno rekbo. And when you want to end the call, how do you do that? Okiaso, or your killer. Some persons will say, Okiaso, like, till later. Okay? And some will say, um, or your kia, like, much later, ba? Those kind of slangs. Later. Okay? And you want to extend your greetings. Give me rerawa. Urue. Urue me is greeter. Okay, so I think that will be a video for another day. Uruwe me, like, how do you greet? Gime re, help me to greet. Erawa, your father, or you guys' father. That's the man of the house. Okay, gime re, rawa, give ya. Help me to greet your husband and the children. That is, extend my regards to them. That's what that means. And you've pulled up a decent conversation with anybody. Because those words are actually basics. They are things that you ought to ask. And if need be, you need to pop them as well. Like the enigbe. When somebody is ill, you ask them enigbe. Okay? So, let's go back to our gist. Please teach your children how to speak your dialect, please. Now, you can't tell where we'll be tomorrow. Okay? The world is still just transitioning, we are not static, it's a dynamic thing. You might be in Africa for two decades and you're in another continent in another decade. As life and as God breathes on us, we keep moving and making waves, isn't it? Making giant strides. So teach them. It might be one thing that might save them out there. I've heard of cases where people just pop a language and they just escape some kind of evil okay 
I've heard of people popping a language and sudden help appeared. Oh, that is my person. Oh, that is my sister. And looking from afar in the diaspora, the moment you see a colored person, you just feel, oh, this is an African person. Now imagine if that person is now from your place. You know the joy it will bring? Like you just see an Isako person along the road in 12th Street. I am going to jump. <laughs> Do you understand? The joy, I don't care where exactly from Isako he or she is from. If he's from the west, the north, the south, the east, I don't want to know. But you bear or you're from Isako, that's enough. And at least we can exchange basic pleasantries together. So, teach your children. Good morning, Nanya. Mota. Good afternoon. They come back from school in the evening. Mogo day. Daddy Mogo day. Mommy Mogo day. Ogbo or Puno. How are you? Uma leg where did you sleep well? Eh. Get to our leg where eh hey. What I just said now is if he didn't sleep well, he would tell you no. Okay? If the person is sick, ono yo hagwa, uno loli enigbe. If the person is sick, you ask how are you faring. Uwa ke nu le get ono yo hilema, uno loli emule. It's getting deeper now, yes? If you want to find out who the person has eaten, you ask what did they eat. That's the translation. And if you want to ask after the children, if ya. Ema totokbo, oma punorekbo, they're trying to ask how's their well-being. Are they hale and hearty? Are they okay? Usoko onayo, you're asking after people around. Are you hearing from this person? Maybe you're from the hood and then you left. Are you hearing from Paul? Usoki onayo, usoko onayo, usoko onayo, you're asking, are you hearing from this, that, that, and that, and I mentioned it, their names. And he's telling you, hey, mame ni nude, we talked yesterday. Mame vele, we spoke today. Eni ne kude mame, did for yesterday. So I think gradually I'm just going to pop it bit by bit, what you call days of the week, what is called today, tomorrow, next tomorrow, and of course the phone conversation we've just made. Okay, so I don't want this video to be super long. I'm going to end it here. And if you have questions, you have observations, you have comments, I'm open to that. I'm not all perfect, right? I am not. I am just a little girl who has this mind for my language. And that is why this channel was opened. It is the sole purpose of this channel. I want people who need help in language, especially Sako, to pop in here and get the help they need. So if you have more vibes or things you feel I should make content around, do let me know in the comment section or basically send me a mail. I'm going to put my email in the description box and I'll jump right into it with the resource I can find. The main reason why I opened the channel is because I looked and I discovered that there are no, you can't get much resources about a circle anyway. Like, it is not handful. So, I'm looking forward to popping more and more and more to help you attain that level of teaching yourself, your children, your relative, how to speak basics. Okay? So, feel free to share, feel free to comment, feel free to like, but do subscribe and hit on the notification bell. God bless you. See you in the next one. And be safe until then. Bye.